My guest, Reed Wan, or Larry Wajumwili, is a young business magnate from Lagos, Nigeria. He graduated from Gateway Polytechnic in Shakbadi, Ogun State, with a degree in business administration. Olari Waju is the founder and CEO of Rabmort Automobile Licensing Agency, an online vehicle documentation company that is changing the narrative of automobile documentation using the power of technology to make it a seamless process for all car users in the country. In 2021, Olari Waju founded Rabmort to provide solutions to real-time problems in the automobile industry with the ultimate goal of expanding its reach to other African countries. As a young entrepreneur, he is passionate about using his company to make positive impact on humanity. Olari Waju is a creative entrepreneur who is dedicated to combining creativity, innovation, and business expertise to create a stress-free experience for car owners. He is recognized as a pioneer and leader in the vehicle documentation industry and is committed to using his platform to advocate greater inclusivity in business. He joins me now as we delve into documentation for car owners and other issues. Welcome to the show, Larry. Hi, Justin. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing very okay. I trust that you had yourself a restful weekend. Yeah. Oh, yes, I had a weekend and yeah, I'm happy to be here as well. Okay, let's talk about um, car documentation because you will agree with me that somehow, aside from the fact that uh, it uh, affects um, daily lives of just people on the roads, it also somehow affects um, business and um, you know b uh, the process of doing business and how you know it is impacted on their daily activities. Specifically, let us start this way because most of the times we go uh, on the road, uh, it's popular we hear, uh, where are your particulars? As it is, that's the normal thing we get to hear on the street. And uh, most times we, we try to avoid um, the road safety guys, the VIO guys, and other you know, uh, road transport um, officials uh, by the day. But what are some of the challenges that people encounter in car vehicle registration and what solutions can be provided, really? So basically, yeah. Um, I feel like for someone to actually made up your mind and said, I want to acquire a vehicle, right? They have intention to register the vehicle. But when you have to go through a whole lot of stress, right? It's just to get your documents shut down, it get discouraging, right? Um, you know, what, one of the uh, problems that people encounter when it comes to vehicle registration is the hazard that comes with it that you have to go through, you know, the whole process yourself, um, trying to, you know, from the queue, so, you know, your time, your precious times and all of that, and you just to spend money at the same time. So a whole lot of people felt discouraged, like I have to go through all of this just to get my documentation done, right? And um, so people take extra step to, uh, you know, use maybe a roadside agent or an authorized agent, let me put it like that, which also, you know, delay this whole thing and make it so, so discouraging. So when you see people don't feel like, okay, they don't want to renew or they don't, they're actually looking for a solution right something to give them a stress-free experience and which is one of the things you know um we're offering right now you know to people to make sure that you know people get to renew registers or anything that has to do with their vehicle documentation with ease right and you know some of the you know uh the solutions to that is uh, by providing an online registration and renewal whereby people can go to a particular course and put in the information and all of that Take it from back end. And this thing can be done under five minutes, right? You go to a website, you slot in your information that's needed for a particular documentation you want to do. And uh, the process commences and you receive it as your doorstep. You imagine how stress free that can be. It saves you time, it saves you money, you can attend to every other thing, right? Why we why, why you still you know get to register your vehicle paper legitimately. And another thing, or uh, talking about legitimately, a whole lot of people, you know, um get not to really understand how this thing works. I know car owners that own a car and they don't even know what those papers are all about. You understand? And which is really, really, uh, you know, disheartening. Some people, you ask them, do they really know what vehicle license does, what road road is all about? They don't. So I think there should be a way of, you know, uh, educating. And that's what we're trying to do right now, advocating right. for you know, uh, that inclusivity to let people know that, yes, you can actually know your documentation and what okay. this thing stands for. And yeah, um, basically, those are the solutions we are trying to provide alongside to counter the problems. 
Thank okay. you. Okay, before we get into more into the crux of it as it is, uh, let's talk about this documentation per se because uh, most people aren't really sure what documentation they really need to have. Before we get into the grace period, before one can register and renew that document yearly, you know, specifically, very quickly, now let's just walk at a quick pace. Uh, what specific documentations are Karen are supposed to have so they don't, uh, for victims, you know, you know, to the authorities like the VIOs and um, um, the FRSC? Okay, so uh, basically for the Karen, for you to be able to apply the rules successfully without any issues, you're supposed to have your driver's license, which is number one. It's key. There's no way you can drive on the road without your driver's license because that's more like your international passport that gives you the pass that you can actually go. It's more like your access card, right? So um, apart from that, when it comes to the documentation side of your vehicle, your vehicle license has to be up to date. Your insurance has to be up to date as well. Same as your roadworthiness, right? And your proof of ownership, right? And allocation. This paper that I just made mention have their specific um, roles to play. Mm. And I'm going to break it down so that everybody can actually understand. So vehicle license is more like the, you know, the model of all vehicles because it's the one that house every other one, right? That shows that, okay, your vehicle is registered legitimately, one. Right? Mm. Then proof of ownership already, like when you, when you hear the name proof of ownership, is the paper that certifies that, I am the owner of this vehicle. My, my, my name, my information, my address, my phone number is on this vehicle. It shows that it's helped me claim the ownership of the vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. that's, the, that, that's the purpose of having a proof of ownership in that, right? Another one is the road ordinance. Road ordinance is that certificate that allows you to apply the road. That shows that the VIS or the VIOs have actually run a test through your, your vehicles and shows that your vehicle is roadworthy. The vehicle can actually apply the road without causing issues or damages or accidents on the road. You know, putting yourself at risk and also deter other drivers on the road. So that's the purpose of having a roadworthiness certificate. Then also we go into insurance. Insurance is another crucial document that you have to have. Like every car owner have to have insurance. You might wonder what do I need insurance for? It's basically you know for your purpose and other other people on the road as well. So insurance cover all of this, you know, stress. But let's say, for example, you um, you have a collision on the road with another vehicle and you have a third party insurance. You don't have to worry about the other party. The insurance company comes in and take your order. All you just have to do go and fix your car, right? Then the insurance fix the other party um, vehicle or whatever that you damage, right? Another thing is um, when we're talking about insurance, we also have comprehensive insurance, which is more like, you know, uh, the the premium part of insurance, which cover both the owner of the vehicle and also the third party. So, and then these are the things that we have to consider when we're talking about, you know, putting documentation in place. Then I make mention of allocation paper as well. Allocation paper, our plate is through by, you know, letting the officials on the road know that this particular plate number is dedicated to this particular vehicle. So without an allocation paper, is like I said, allocation paper means this plate number is allocated to Mr. So so and so that owns this make of vehicles and model. And you know, all those things come with you know having your car's information like the engine number, the chassis number, the make, the color. All so right. it's actually like one for one. You understand? So that's yeah. actually how it works. And those are the necessary documents that right. you should have. You're blind the road in Nigeria. Oh, good to know now. So let's talk about um, registration and maybe renewal because I know it's done like uh, uh, yearly for most of the document. But is there like a grace period for car owners? And what exactly or when exactly is the right time to get or start the process of um, vehicle, do vehicle documentation renewals? Okay, basically, um, when, when you purchase a vehicle in Nigeria, um, there's no grace period. You are expected you know, to register your vehicle immediately because without registering your vehicle, you're putting yourself on high risk. One, two, um, you know, you're open to uh, penalties, right, by the officials in the sense that if anything happens to your, to your vehicle, right, and is not registered, how do you expect the police to not be traced the vehicle that is not registered? How do you expect to carry out their investigation and all of that? So that's the reason why it's very, very crucial you register immediately you acquire a vehicle. Now, when we talk about renewal as well, renewal does not have a grace period. Immediately it's expired, you're expected to renew. It's even advisable to renew your vehicle license or vehicle documentations a month before the expiration date, or a few weeks at most. 
so that you can be on the safer end because something about you know uh biblical documentation is let's say for example yesterday was 24th of march right and uh my documentation started yesterday 24th of march and this morning maybe you you're taking the kids to school and you pass through where there's camera because your vehicle was expired yesterday, it doesn't mean that the, the, uh, the, the system will overlook it. Immediately, you'll be fine if you pass through the vehicle. And the system also does things like it's automatically regulates. So if it's discovered that your vehicle has expired and you're yet to renew, even if it's just an hour, right? Even if a minute ago, like it expired and you pass through the, 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 the camera, you'll be fine. And something about, you know, getting a fine is it will find not just one particular people, it will find your road ordinance, vehicle license and insurance. That's and that's twenty thousand error each. So that's more like a sixty thousand error fine where you can actually renew your papers with less. So it's actually like you know putting yourself at risk and also getting you to spend more because wow. after paying that fine, you still have to go and renew your document. So it's advisable to renew before it's expired. All right. That's most two weeks before it's expired. Okay, still talking about licensing and licenses, really. For instance, I'm a valid driver in the country. I have been certified by the authorities, uh, by Lagos, Lagos Drivers Institute. I've gone through the training. I have my license from the FRSC. Uh, but uh, if I travel abroad, um, can I really drive? Is my national driver's license valid? Okay, basically, um, this, uh, like the name implies, right? We call it national driver's license which shows that it's basically within your country right that's what it's valid you can use it to drive anywhere in nigeria right mm. without nobody stopping you but when you are um, going outside of your country you are expected to have what we call idps what does that mean international driving permits which shows that you can you've been driving in your country satisfied by the official so you can be trusted to drive abroad. So this is another license entirely that will be given to you here in your country before you travel, right? So when you get to wherever you are outside of your country and you show them, automatically they allow you to drive or even rent a vehicle, right? But without that, you can't be able to, you know, drive with a national driver's license unless maybe there's, there's a document or there's something that backs it up, right? Mm -hmm. But apart from that, like on a normal basis, you are not expected to drive uh, right. international driver's license across okay. your country. Okay, let's talk about this documentation cross-country right now. Can you register, say for example, your car in Lagos and uh, you relocated to another state and uh, you are doing a renewal? What documents are renewable outside them where you actually had resided? Okay, basically, um, let's use, for example, uh, someone in Lagos, and the person registered is a vehicle in Lagos, right? And um, you, maybe through work or something, you were transferred to Abuja to, to, uh, to reside for a while, and you need to register or renew your vehicle, right? Um, the one that's actually, you know, uh, that can actually be renewable is um, the road ordinance. Because why? The road ordinance is a federal paper, right? It's actually um, regulated to one particular database, right? And also insurance as well can be renewable. But vehicle license might actually be, you know, a very major problem for you to renew in another state, right? If they have to renew it, they have to go through extra stress by imputing it freshly into their system, right? But it's actually advisable to renew your documents in the states where you register it to avoid stress free because if you actually register in uh in lagos and you renew again in abuja automatically the one in lagos database will still remain invalid so when as you come down to lagos and you want to come and renew that same particular you know vehicle it will show you that you still have a standing whereas you've been renew your documents from abuja where you where you reside um during the okay period so, of time so, so that, that's a concern um uh, read one if you'll agree with me now if uh, we are in the same country how come all of this cannot be centralized uh, we're talking about online application right now online processing so how come uh, maybe i don't know if it's on the part of the government or the part of um licensing um agencies how come these things cannot really be done just like you had told me these things can be done from the comfort of one's home but why does one have to still go to a particular place to register because uh, for some reason you're not in that particular state again 
Okay, so basically, how it works is uh, this this states actually use different holes, huh? right? Um, in which I, I I feel this should be a major concern, like I said, where the government can actually regulate this case. It basically happens to break license mostly, right? Um, because each state use different, you know, uh, platform, right? Like Lagos State use auto rent, right? Why Abuja uh, and some other states use Virex. So Virex has their own database. Local license also have their own database, right? So if I'm on that auto rent by Lagos and some other uh, country that use auto, if some other state that use auto rent, I can be able to renew my documents without yeah. stress, right? Um, but if, if I go to where VREG is actually functioning, they have to like you know put it into their system freshly. So I think there's a way you need to be regulated. But when you're when you're dealing with you know um, a licensing agency like Rabmot, we make sure you know we follow suit because uh -huh. uh, we are actually in in, um, in different states, right? Uh -huh. In Abuja, Lagos, and all that. So just we know that. Um, your vehicle is registered in this particular state. Right. We don't stress you to go and start a renew. We just send it to our branch, but okay, renew this and send it to us okay. here in Lagos. If the client is in Lagos, so it makes it stress free. You don't have to go through All that right. stress yourself. We do the, we do the homework and make sure we deliver to you at the appropriate time. All right, as we round off now, I'm read one. Um, what are the ways, if there are, I mean, of validating or confirming one's vehicle documentation? You've done, uh, you've, got, you've done, let, let's say, for instance, I come to you as a licensing um, agent and I want my documentation to be renewed. Are there are ways I can actually validate or confirm uh, in the online, um, maybe very quickly, that, to note that um, I have valid documentation, as in seamlessly. Very quickly, please. Okay, great. Um, there's actually uh, ways of confirming this uh, documentation legitimately. Um, so there are some platforms you can go to. So for example, if um, someone renew your vehicle license and you need to validate if it's legitimately, all you just have to do is just go to uh, verify.autorec.ng, verify.autorec.ng, and you input your plate number there. It's bring out your details to so right. show that, yes, your um, your document is registered um, legitimately, it's expiring so so they okay. it was renewed so so they um a few document few information about your car because they don't have to put all your information out there on, on a open portal like that because someone can just grab your license plate number and right. you know get to um information so private uh, data privacy and all that so all right. they will give you few information about your vehicle that you will know that okay this is my vehicle that actually like you know um you know um referring to all right, and also, uh, to confirm your insurance as well, there's a portal for that as well, which is um, ask NIID, ASK, which is ask NIID. Ask NIID, okay. Yeah, ask NIID. Right. So you go there, you um, check, check policy, check policy, and you choose single instead of fleet. Then you enter your plate number as well. It will mm -hmm. give you the render of your of your vehicle uh, information so that we can confirm if your insurance is. All right. Start All right, read one. We are completely out of time. I guess we might need to bring you again on the show because there's a whole lot to talk about when we discuss about roads, roadiness, uh, transportation, and uh, vehicle documentation in the country, specifically in Lagos and, of course, um, other states and that have fallen um, uh, in line, too. Uh, I must say a very big thank you to you. Uh, Reed Wan Mwili is the CEO of Nasmot Automobile Licensing Agency. Many thanks for the useful insight that you have provided on the show for today. We do appreciate them. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. and glad to be on the show as well. All right, and that's the size of the show for today. My name is Justin. Akadonye, many thanks for being there. Bye for now.